So as you guys may know, recently, I just won't shut up about how ecstatic I am that the Fizz Goku Black Extreme Z Awakening is just objectively better on the global side of the game compared to his JP counterpart, to the point where it's probably getting a little annoying, but honestly guys, I can't help it. Like, this is something that makes me really, really happy, alright? As someone who's mained the global side for the past three years, and seeing JP get all these huge celebrations and amazing banners and, you know, crazy compensations, I feel like we needed this win on global and now that we have this i'ma take it and run with it for as long as humanly possible but you know what like i said i have been talking about this guy quite a bit recently so we're gonna ease off on him for today and talk about another unit that is actually in a very similar situation in that uh, the global version at least right now is actually better than the jp version and that unit would be the int kid Goku. Now, real quick, before we talk more about him, this actually wasn't discovered by me. It was brought to my attention by a Reddit user by the name of SanicX20. So huge shout out to SanicX20 for bringing this to my attention and for the post. And uh, let's talk about this kid. So the first thing I want to bring your attention to is his active skill, which is called Take This, and it causes ultimate damage to the enemy. It can be activated when the HP is 59% or less, once only. And it is a super attack style active skill, like the ones that the LR Super Saiyan 4s have, and the damage multiplier for this attack is ultimate damage. So, oh, by the way, if you guys haven't seen the animation for this active skill, definitely go check it out, because it is one of the sickest animations in the entire game, guys. Like, seriously, I feel like it's right up there with the transforming cooler, as well as the transforming Namek Goku, as far as how amazing, how beautiful the animations are. And I don't say that lightly because you guys know how I feel about the animations for those two units, right? But I definitely think that this active skills animation is close to, if not on par with those guys' animations. So definitely go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. It is absolutely amazing but you know what i'm getting sidetracked let's get back to the main topic at hand which uh can be found right down here in the extra details so the first thing you'll see is that his 12 key multiplier for his super attack of i believe immense damage is 150 percent and you're like okay you know what that's not bad that's pretty good but then you realize that the ultimate damage multiplier for that active skill super attack is 550%, which means that it's going to be hitting really, really freaking hard, right? 550% versus 150%, huge difference. But then you scroll down a little bit more, and you find out that on global, so this is the global symbol, and this is the JP symbol, on global, his multiplier is even higher at 600 and 50% for that same active skill. So what this means is that the same int kid Goku on global is gonna hit significantly harder with his active skill than a int kid Goku on JP with the same level of investment. So let's say a rainbow kid Goku on global versus a rainbow kid Goku on JP. The rainbow kid Goku on global with his active skill is gonna hit a lot harder than the one on JP, at least right now at the time of this filming, and uh, that's pretty freaking awesome. So not only do we have the Fizz Goku Black EZA right now, we are also winning in the Int Kid Goku department, and that makes me really happy once again, guys. Uh, another thing we have over JP, at least for the time being. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the main point of the video, guys. I know it's not like super important, and of course it does say it's going to be fixed in the future, so maybe in the next couple of weeks or next couple of months, um, there will be parity once again for both sides when it comes to this unit. So maybe they'll, I don't know, maybe they'll bring it up on JP to be 650% in line with global, but more likely than not, I think they're just going to reduce the... Yeah, they're going to reduce probably the multiplier on global to be 550% to be in line with JP right now. And that's going to kind of suck, but it is what it is. But you know what? It doesn't matter. At this point in time, on June... I say June, November 22nd, 2019, 
Global's Int Kid Goku is better than JP's Int Kid Goku, and that is pretty freaking awesome. Now, one other thing that's actually different about this unit on JP and Global is uh, the categories, which I find kind of random, but uh, for some reason, this Kid Goku does not have the full power category on Global, whereas he does have it on JP, and it's not like a category, I mean, like for example, this, the Master Student Bond one I get because uh, that category literally does not exist on Global yet, but we already have the full power category on Global, but for some reason, this Kid Goku is just not in it. I'm sure at some point in the future, maybe when they fix the discrepancy between uh, the multipliers for the active skill, they'll also add the full power category to global, but uh, yeah, for some reason right now, Kid Goku not in the full power category on global, not really sure what that's all about, but that is kind of the main thing I wanted to cover in today's video, guys. Once again, shout out to uh, Sanic X20 for bringing this to my attention. I really appreciate that. But um, to give you guys more bang for your buck in this video, I'm gonna briefly talk about two other units that I recently discovered were also different between the two versions. So the first one is this uh, super old Int uh, Buff Trunks. And as you can see, his leader skill when he came to Global was actually buffed. So on JP, it was uh, Int Types, attack plus 50%. But then when he came to Global, it became tech types, or sorry, int types, key plus two, HP, and attack plus 50%. So, I mean, a very, very slight buff. It really doesn't make that much of a difference. And when he got an awakening, um, he did actually become the same on both sides. So it doesn't really matter. But something I realized recently that uh, I want to share with you. And the other one is uh, one that's a little bit more well known, and that would be the PyCons. So this PyCon was actually a global exclusive for quite some time. And then uh, when he came out on JP about a year later, he actually became a int type unit, which is kind of weird. So as you can see, exact same art, except on JP he's int, on global he's str and uh, he actually got some extra things on JP as well, since obviously he was released a year later, and since obviously Bandai loves JP, they had to buff him in some way, so <laughs> his leader skill on global is STR types key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%, on JP it's int types key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 70%, so 50% versus 70% on JP, and then his super attack is uh, supreme damage and greatly lowers attack, and I believe it's the same on global. But then when it comes to the passive, on global it's attack plus 70%, all enemies defense minus 30%. On JP, it's attack plus 100%, all enemies defense minus 50%, so uh, increase of 30% for attack and uh, increase of 20% debuff for the defense. And uh, yeah, on paper, you know, he just looks objectively better on JP than global, right? But that actually wouldn't, it's not, it's not as easy or as simple as that, I'd say, because uh, his links did change, and his links, I would say, are much better on global than they are on JP, all right? So the two main things that are different um, as far as the links go is prepare for battle and fierce battle, two very common links and two very, very good links that the STR PyCon on global has. Whereas on JP, instead of prepare for battle and fierce battle, he got supreme warrior and shattering the limit. So two significantly, significantly worse links than the ones that the um, STR PyCon on global has. And I believe stat wise, he also has more attack. Yeah, so he has 13,205 attack on global versus 12,880 on JP. So the interesting thing is that while he has a better leader skill, which really doesn't matter since nobody's going to be running, running him as a leader on either side, and uh, while he does have a better passive, um, I think the links, difference in links and also stats, uh, actually makes them pretty even. If not, maybe the global version is still a little bit better? I, I think it's kind of hard to say. It's kind of hard to say, but... Um, I prefer actually the global version since he links a lot better with uh, a lot of top tier units in the game. So uh, that's just my opinion. You guys can let me know in the comments down below which version of PyCon you like more. But I definitely feel like the STR version is still better mainly because of the, of the links 
and the extra stats. And as you can see, he has no categories right now because the only category that he's in on JP is Rivals and uh, we don't have the Rivals category on Global yet. So once that becomes a thing, then we'll also get Rivals for the PyCon and uh, he'll finally have a category. So uh, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I really hope that you guys learned something that you didn't know before clicking on this video. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.